I know, my hair is a crazy frizzy mess. I will fix it tonight. <laughs> anyway, last day of testing, thank God, because I don't know if I could do any more of this. It's excruciating, I'm exhausted. And I need my breaks in the week. I am, whew, mm -mm. this is not for me. Anyway, last day of testing, puddle, study hall, and uh, yeah. Oh, but at least we have dinner with Sean's father because it's his birthday, so there's that. <sighs> All right, see you there. Oh my gosh, almost forgot to tell you, 157.2. We're getting there. I think by Sunday, we'll be in the 156 range, which is exactly what I wanted. I am exhausted. I'm just like, I'm so exhausted. Came back for some matcha because I'm not gonna be able to continue after this week and then having plans tonight. Like I'm just, I'm so exhausted right now. Like I can barely function. So that's a thing. Anyway, get my matcha on and then I gotta go back. Matcha. I don't know what it is, but I'm willing to try it. Cheers. today, but I'm going to enjoy my matcha. No, I'm not. It's sour. This Friday has been a challenge. Cheers. Do it all! <laughs> 
Was it good enough? Oh man. We gotta do it all over. Can't make a wish if you don't believe. Exhausted, but I am so glad to be home. They are an hour and a half away there and an hour and a half way home. So it's three hours just traveling. And it is after midnight, which means I've missed my deadline, of course, but it's okay. I'm still gonna post it. And yeah, I just I just I just want sleep. I'm exhausted. But I have to put this in the video and then edit it all together and then get there you go. There you go. Um, I wanted to say uh, that I am struggling right now because I am currently reading a book and the book is called Just Mercy and it has um, everything to do with the injustices that uh, minority poor brown and black people face in this country. And it is an incredible book. Um, it is all based on real uh, cases that the writer, the author, Brian Stevenson, actually um, experienced and fought with because he is a Harvard lawyer. And it is an incredible, incredible novel. And I recommended it to somebody who I thought it would help. Um, maybe open their eyes and their minds to something that maybe they hadn't considered before. And instead, what it did was they only they they somehow became even more prejudiced and racist, um, and their racial bias somehow grew. And they were mad that Brian Stevenson was fighting for these people um, because they believe that Brian Stevenson should be fighting for all people. But what this person doesn't realize is that all the people Brian Stevenson was fighting for was black, brown, and poor because they were all on death row. That's what he did, people who were on death row. And the majority of his cases were poor, black, and brown people, not white people. And that's by design. That's by the systemic racist racism that exists in our country and in our judicial system. Like it's purely by design. And it's so heartbreaking and frustrating and devastating that instead of opening people's eyes to the possibility that maybe they 
weren't seeing the world the way the world really is, they just started to attack and feel like they were under attack. I'm tired and I'm sad because I'm so over this white privileged idea that white people are under attack in some way and they're not they're not what have white people lost what have they lost they've lost no power they've lost no room they've lost no space in the world they still have all of those things and they are still trying to make it harder for black and brown people, especially if they are poor, minorities. It's heartbreaking to have so much, to have so much and to be mad that they don't have more. That's why I am a feminist. That's why I am anti-racist. That's why I believe that people should maybe open their minds and their hearts and consider things outside of the realm of what they think they know. Because I am way too fucking smart to have to continue to explain this over and over again. And if you still don't get it, it's because you're being willfully ignorant. It's a choice, and you're choosing to be racist. That's it. But I do want to end on a happy note, especially since today was spent with Sean's father on his birthday, and it was a wonderful day. I'm just so sad that this happened in my world. I just don't know how I am the person I am and yet have those people who are so hateful and hurtful in my life as well but speaking of this book and speaking of being a teacher there's another bit of funny uh story that goes along with it so um we are reading this book in class and uh, you know I'm performer so I give each character a different voice and mannerisms and I kind of perform it for the kids just because it's important and I want them to be engaged and it, it does that it works doing that works so I was standing outside the classroom just like getting kids to come in because they need to come to class and one of my other kids was walking by and he goes oh hey this capable and I was like what's up they're like, cool, what's up, how you doing? And I was like, you know, whatever. And as they do it, they say my name as another teacher rounds a corner. And I've seen this teacher like just in passing. I don't know this teacher personally. And she comes up to me and she's like, you're Mrs. Capel. And I'm like, yep, that's me, I'm Capel. And she's like, oh my gosh, my son loves you. He absolutely loves everything that you do in the classroom. When you read the book, he's so engaged and it's because of how you read it. And he just understands it so much better because of you. And I have to say, after everything I've been through and after everything I do and try so hard to achieve, after this entire week, It was really nice to hear that. And it really made my week. So even this racist, hurtful person who might not understand it, despite having years and years of experience and life behind them, at least I know that I'm getting through to the generation that actually matters. having some kind of effect, a positive change. Might not be with my people, but at least it's with people that matter in the sense of they're the future. 
and while being a teacher is really hard and very unforgiving and thankless most times I like to say that my role in it has changed lives at least in some way so at least there's that anyway I don't mean to be such a bummer I'm just tired it's after midnight and it's been a long week and I have an amazing but very long day ahead of me tomorrow so I love you guys thank you for spending time with me today I hope you had an amazing week and I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will see you tomorrow until next time <laughs>